Hey, my name is Joey from Xandom Technology. Uh, I'm going to give you a little demo. We're here at Seacon 2011 in Salt Lake City. Uh, and uh, Yang, Yang Chao is uh, doing a demo of uh, variance-based radio tomographic imaging using subspace decomposition. And in layman's terms, that means uh, a more reliable network that's able to uh, remove um, harmless forms of motion that may be occurring within a wireless network. So if you follow me, I'll kind of give you a little tour here. Uh, what we've got here is uh, an image on the screen, and I'll turn on this computer too. We've got two images, and both of them turn red when a person walks in. So I will walk into the network now, and you'll be able to see the, the red blob starting to appear. So if I walk around here on the front, you can see these red blobs move around, and that's able to detect the person. It's able to not only detect them, but also localize where they are. So what happens, though, if you come over here with me, in some situations, you have maybe some wind blowing, or one of the radios may be slightly moving, or some trees may be blowing, and this introduces a lot of uh, false detections or false estimates within the wireless network. And so if we go back to these computer screens, Okay. What uh, what Yang has done is he's implemented an algorithm that's able to remove the motion of the things that are happening outside the network. So over here, you'll notice that it'll it'll you'll see a hot spot happening up there quite a bit. You see it there; it turned yellow. You're getting these hot spots that don't no one's actually in there. If you look at this one, you can see the hot spot is removed, and it's a much cleaner image. And that's actually somebody walking in right now. So. Um, this is called, uh, they call it subvert, sub-VRT, for subspace uh, variance radio tomography. And it's an exciting innovation that's going to lead to more reliable uh, radio tomography networks, more, re more reliable sensing, um, less false alarms, better tracking of people.